Howdy agents, here it is. Finally updated my Wild West build to Title Update 6, just in time for Title Update 7. It's not 100% fully optimized yet, a few pieces could use some better rolls, but as you saw in the previous video in this one, it works. <coughs> this build relies on a particular playstyle and is built around four core pieces. The Virginian with Perfect Boomerang, Sweet Dreams for the Evasive Talent, a Disseros with Finisher, and the Dodge City Holster. So here's how it all works. It may seem like having the holster with the shotgun is redundant, but it does more than just eliminate the need to reload. It basically turns your sidearm into a viable secondary by giving it 20% more accuracy, stability, damage, and 400% range. A headshot kill gives you an additional 20% more weapon damage, and bullets can penetrate enemies for 11 seconds. You can swap to your rifle and still have these bonuses. On top of that, Finisher gives you an additional 30% more crit chance and 30% crit damage for 15 seconds. If you've specced your build to have at least 30% crit hit chance, you will be at max. Basically, this gives you a 15 second window for the Virginian's perfect boomerang to operate at full potential. With every crit hit, you get a 75% chance to get your shots back, essentially extending the rifle's sustained fire, and hits with an additional 50% damage. The shotgun's evasive talent helps keep your rifle topped up, and you'll be using the combat roll to its fullest potential. One of two techniques I utilize with the theme of this build, which I'll explain in a bit. The worst thing you can do is run out of bullets, and this streamlines the entire process while on the move. I rarely spend time reloading as long as I keep moving. So from here on, depending on your playstyle, you've got three main variants. The first I'm going to talk about in this video is the Gambler. Crit chance and a balance of crit damage and raw damage are your focus here. I know some people are going to question why Punch Drunk is not the mask of choice, and the answer is simple. You need to land a headshot first in order to get the bonus damage on your next headshot, and it only lasts for 2 seconds with a rifle. The 1886 is slow firing with a lot of kickback, but can usually finish off a red or a veteran with the next shot, and if you need to crack armor before the kill shot, that bonus damage isn't going to help. You may as well focus on a different talent, or go with the gear set mask for the mod slot and high natural rolls. Besides, the sharpshooter class provides built-in headshot bonuses, and I like to use a two-piece or LD set. A pristine example with crit damage and weapon damage, and knee pads with composure. The backpack I'm currently using is a Gila Banner Pack with spark and hard hitting, primarily for the offensive and defensive mod slots. Gloves are Overlord with Surgical for the Rifle Damage and Crit Chance bonus. I'm still trying to craft the 13% Rifle Damage roll on Motherly Gloves, but the 11% does the trick. For mod slots, I split between Raw Damage and Criticals for two reasons. You need to have enough Crit Chance to hit max once Finisher is triggered, and enough Raw Damage that your Disrose can do this on its own. Any more than 50% chance is a bit of a waste since Finisher bridges that gap at 30. Slot for damage to boost your pistol, and have a firm base for the crit damage multiplication. Now the way I play this build is very unconventional. It's a mix of both function and flair. You move a bit faster and are less of a target while you are cover transitioning and rolling. And there's a trick called roll snapping. In the middle of a cover transition, time a roll so that you are within distance of a cover snap prompt once you come out of it. Aim where you want to go and tap the cover button. You will zoom into the spot faster than normal. This works with turning corners or even fake outs, and is generally the better option when you want to reposition instead of climbing over cover. There's something interesting I found you can do with slow firing weapons. If you time a singular input just as the muzzle flashes, you'll skip a few frames of the recoil animation. Using a weapon with the grease talent seems to make it easier to pull off, and amplifies the effect. The window to swap is right when the muzzle flashes. If you fire too soon, it won't register the input. If you're too late, it'll slow down the swap. 
You're essentially using a pistol shot to chain together your rifle fire. This keeps your DPS from dropping significantly due to gaps in sustained fire from your high damage weapon. It's very useful when you need to deal with heavies or warhounds from afar. And that about sums it up. Honestly, apart from these core pieces, I'm sure someone can put together a better setup. And if you do, please share it. I want to see more themed builds that are fun to play. Secure the final hall. 